Hi everybody, it's Derek from 9D Diagnostics. Uh, today we're going to have a little talk about um, glow plugs on a diesel engine. Um, what are they? What do they do? Why are they there? Um, and what happens when one or all of them are not working or not working correctly and what would I expect to see um, the, the vehicle doing? So basically what a glow plug does, there, there are one per cylinder, so on a four cylinder engine there's one glow plug per cylinder and what they do is they help aid in starting the engine uh, when cold. Diesel will ignite at a higher temperature so we want to get um, combustion up to its temperature quickly to ignite that uh, diesel inside the, um, the cylinder. So they're usually bolted through the cylinder head and are usually right beside maybe the in injectors. As you can see there are a they are a long skinny um, plug and the tip of it just here is what glows red hot and helps ignite that fuel. So when you go out in the morning and you put your key in the ignition, you'll see a little glow plug light come on the dash. It'll stay on for a period of time and then it'll go out indicating to the driver, now you can start the vehicle. So what you find is sometimes when a glow plug, if one of them or all of them are gone or not working correctly, that the engine will be difficult to start in the morning and also be a bit smoky for a period of time. Um, so to check them, what you would normally do is, or the technician will do is, is check the resistance inside the glow plug and then give a power supply down to the glow plug, which is what we're going to do. The customer on this vehicle, it's a Renault Kangoo, is complaining of um, it hard to start in the morning and also smoky. So we've removed all four glow plugs, we have checked them and all four glow plugs are not working. I have a new set of glow plugs here, so we're going to check two glow plugs, one brand new glow plug and one faulty glow plug and show you what you should be seeing and how the glow plug should work um, when it's given a power supply. So we're going to connect up our multimeter here um, onto the glow plug and see what readings we get. What I'm using on the workshop here today is the, um, the Sealy PP100. It's a power scope. It has the function of voltage, um, oscilloscope and multimeter. So we're going to go in, uh, directly to our multimeter setting. Now what you want to do first on any multimeter or any check is you want to um, cross the two connections here and make sure that it goes to zero or close to zero. If it's point uh, two or point three it's fine and just give just give it a little wiggle and make sure it doesn't fluctuate massively if it does there's a pro more than likely a problem with the cables and um, so replace the cables so we've two glow plugs here i'm going to get the first one and check ohm so you go onto the earth side connect on there and then the tip of the glow plug where the power supply comes in you want to just touch off there and you should, what you want to be seeing is close to zero. This is reading OL which is the same as having it disconnected. Sorry, let me bring it up there. So what that's telling me is, is that internally inside this glow plug there is more than likely a break in the wiring. So the power supply comes in here and it can't get down to the tip and complete the circuit to glow this glow plug. So it's reading OL. Oh well. So we're going to go to our second glow plug. This is a brand new glow plug. Same again, connection on. And as you can see there, it's gone straight to zero, which means that is a, a good circuit. Um, we don't want to be seeing, I suppose, um, as we've seen on the other glow plug, OL or a massively high resistance reading. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch this to volts. Now before you send a power supply down to a glow plug, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the glow plug, um, what voltage um, the glow plug operates at. Some glow plugs operate at a voltage of 12 volts, some will operate at a lower voltage. So you just want to make sure that um, 
you're sending the right voltage down. You don't want to give a glow plug that operates at 5 volts a 12 volt supply because you will damage the glow plug. Um, so you can check the manufacturer specification um, but most of the time it is written on the side of the glow plug and um, what the voltage is. This van is a 12 volt supply so we're going to give it 12 volts. So your negative onto the negative and then your positive lead onto the tip and as you can see there it's gone to green so it's a good circuit already and now we're going to give it its 12 volt supply. Now straight away I can start to feel a bit of heat and we should see the glow plug starting to glow red hot. As you can see there the tip is starting to glow but we want, it, we want that to operate all the way down to the bottom of the glow plug. It takes a few seconds so that's why your glow plug light will stay on the dash for a period of time to give that that time to, to heat up. And there we go, that's a, good, that's a good glow plug, which I would expect because this is brand new glow plug. Um, and that's what you should be seeing on all four glow plugs on the van. Um, we're going to go and check this glow plug that we had uh, OL, and I'm going to give it a power supply and see what happens. So a power scope on, negative, and then on to a positive. And then we give it its power supply, 12 volts down. And as you can see there, it's, um, it's not glowing red hot. We wouldn't expect to see it because as we've seen on the uh, um, multimeter, it was reading OL, uh, which is open circuit or open loop. So which means there is a, a break in this glow plug. So this glow plug um, is basically fit for the bin. And we're going to replace um, all four glow plugs on this vehicle as they all are gone. But if you were to find that you took all the four glow plugs out and you checked them and only one of them was gone and not working and the other three were working fine, the temptation would be to just replace the one because they can be quite expensive. They can be, um, depending on the vehicle, they can be um, 20 euro a glow plug, sometimes even more. So the temptation will be to just replace one. But what obviously what happens is these glow plugs are all put in at the same time. So if one of the glow plugs is gone, the other three are not too far behind it. So it's best practice to replace all four glow plugs um, if one of them are gone. So I hope this helps um, your understanding um, on how the glow plugs work in a diesel engine. Um, and what to do, and I suppose the importance um, of them, because it can be if your glow plugs aren't working, it can be quite hard on the the battery on the um, on the vehicle and um, for when it's starting, because it has to take longer for that diesel to heat up and ignite. So as I said, get a trained, a qualified trained technician to um, check the glow plugs for you and replace them if need be, because they can be quite um, awkward to get at um, and difficult to change. So I hope this video helps. Um, check out our YouTube channel and, and subscribe. Um, like us on Facebook and uh, check out our website at www.9ddiagnostics.ie and I hope to see you um, some point in our workshop. Um, so thanks very much.